Thank you so much, uh, Aditya, and thank you uh, all of you for the attention that you're giving uh, all the all those who are speaking here at the forum. So we have this interesting conversation. Uh, Samridhi, uh, who is the who is her interesting journey. She is, comes from a media back, background and is now doing some disruptive work. I mean, we have heard about fans, but we have never celebrated fans in return. They celebrate the celebrities, right? They have their, uh, you know, communities they follow, but no one gives anything back to them. That's what Samriti is doing. Uh, she has uh, co-founded uh, the company uh, Fan Drum, right? So let me uh, ask you straight away, from media to fan drum, I mean, what, what made you think of fans of all the things? First of all, thank you so much. Uh, I would really like to thank my co-founder, Vipul Chauve, who's, on the, who's with us right now, and Anurag sir, of course. Thank you so much for this opportunity. So uh, to begin with, as we heard uh, Gaurav talking about content, 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 right? Every content producer is only talking about making content. But the content is only successful if it's only viral, as long as fans watch it. So the whole purpose of Fandrum is to validate and celebrate those fans who make the content viral, who make content a part of the pop culture per se. Right. So tell me, I mean, how is it different from where fans are right now? You know, they have the pages on social media, they follow. I mean, how is your offering different? What is there for fans, if you can tell all the people here? Good question. Uh, the thing is that Facebook was never meant for fans. Neither was Instagram, neither was Twitter, neither was WhatsApp, neither was... But the fans found themselves a community, right? There was a need. So they automatically formed communities there. Here we are building an exclusive platform just to celebrate fans, you know. As just Gaurav was mentioning that they are producing contents around the world. Everybody is watching content. There is no language or geographical barrier. But who is watching out for these fans to connect them together, you know? There is a world outside the real world, you know. Facebook is connecting you in the real world with friends and family and so on and so forth. LinkedIn in the professional world. Fandrum has content at its fulcrum where we celebrate fans across geographies, across languages together. So, uh, three words that you often use is rejo recognize, reward and uh, rejoice. rejoice. Yeah. What exactly is that? So, once the film is produced, you know, the fans are the people who actually create content around co content around content for them, right? They create memes, they create GIFs, they write articles, they write reviews, they talk about it, they fight for their stars, they fight for their celebrities. The idea is to recognize these people. Who are these people who are creating and generating value for these content producers? So the idea is to recognize, to reward them for being these creators in its truest sense. You know, give them tangible and non-tangible rewards make their dreams, make, I mean, fulfilling their dreams. And obviously we rejoice with, as a content industry together, because it's part of the ecosystem, right? It has to be a 360 degree ecosystem. We validate a content producer, we validate everybody else. The only person not validated in this whole ecosystem are the fans. You know, since this is a new, newer conversation in India, you know, uh, focusing on fans, uh, give us a sense of how big is the fan economy? And uh, if you compare it with the rest of the world, where is India? What are the opportunities here? Even for brands that are looking to meet people, you know, present themselves, what all is there? What is the scope for people who get associated with it? So right now when we are building the platform, the whole idea is to recognize and identify the fan. You know, we are building a new economy. The scope and all will be all secondary from it, right? Every brand that comes on television will wants to be associated with the customer so-called or the audience, right? But 20% of the people give you 80% of viewership and that 80% of viewership is your market, market share. So those 20% become very, very essential part of your ecosystem for brands or for or any economy. Today, if I ask any big broadcaster who are your top 1,000 fans, I'm sure they will not be able to name, name it. And even for that matter, if uh, you have to tell them the persona that what, what is your fan really like? Do you even know the customers that you're making your content for? We are the only industry who don't know our customers who we are making content for. That's why less than 5% of the content is successful currently. And that's why we want the whole 360 degree approach to the content ecosystem. So when we talk of fans, you know, it, there, it seems that we always talk of two genres, you know, one is Bollywood and one is cricket. Is it so? Uh, are we narrowly looking at the entire narrative of fans according to you? We are looking at an absolute narrative. I can be a Bollywood, it can be a star fan, it can be a character fan, it can be an IPL fan. 
tomorrow i can be a fan of any brand i am a big fan of ferrari i am a big fan of porsche fans are available everywhere right those fans connect with content so it's an intermerging community and we get to know the persona of the fans better there is no nobody in the world who's actually calculating the fan value index you know people who are watching content their social values their social attributes and their persona to make the content and map them fandom will be the first of its kind who will actually map this kind of data with the brands with the with the content and everything else fan value index index yes. sorry i'm mean, something very new uh, of course i've been mean, i've heard about it but for our people present here can you can you elaborate exactly what do you mean by it so fandom is a fully gamified platform right the more the more creators are engaging with their communities the more they are putting out for their for their celebrities for their characters for their products the more they are gaining points right the more they gain points that's how the fan uh, calcula fan value index works the more they calculate uh, the more they spend the more the fan value index goes up and that's how you become a mayor a moderator a super fan and it's a whole journey that they go through in the ecosystem you know one interesting aspect that you bring about is something called fan safety mm -hmm. a new term uh, what is fan safety to your uh, to answer your concept we are not trying to uh, steal their data we will be completely gdpr compliant and the persona that we are trying to use will be all according to the gdpr compliance and the laws that exist in the country okay so for for broadcasters and uh, ott players you were also saying that language you know is an important like it's not just mainstream language yes. that uh, where you find fans you know regional also has a lot of untapped potential so how do you integrate the regional uh, fan following into the mainstream fan following is there a way that fandom is planning to address that you know this fan economy actually already exist across across regional language and it's much bigger than anything else when we talk about the south industry it is much more organized it's just very very scattered and very fragmented you know if i have to go become a fan of a, a join a community i don't know where to go until unless i am in that ecosystem and i belong to the south industry where i know the admins that's where i can join so the whole idea is if i am like or said right we are watching content in multiple languages that means our things are uh, the, the fandoms are increasing so if i have to become join that particular community i don't know where to go thus fandom you know you connect fans around the world at a common place where people can chat interact with each other continuously they can become friends and gain points and get rewarded for being a fan and some of you have arrived at a point where people are now you know coming to know what fandom is all about i'm sure it was not an easy journey uh, give me a sense of leaving a high paying job for fandrum and what all went to it, went into it a little bit of back story was it all so easy because right now we are just hearing the front side of it that this is all this and that but was there any what, what is the back story like a struggle or anything of that sort which you would like to share there is no struggle there is passion when there is passion there are there are road blocks you know so you have to cross every road block and when people like mr batra come and back you all all and out and say yes i believe in your concept it makes a lot of sense ha aap sari equity le lo sir okay so uh, when we you compare uh, fandrum with what exists around the world uh, where do you see fandrum in the next say two years and what is the plan how do you action it well, how are you planning to take it fandrum from where it is to where you want it so right now we have launched fandrum in uh, five languages hindi english tamil telugu malayalam in last two months we have about 1 lakh users and we have done zero marketing to begin with i think this will be the probably the first marketing effort that we we wanted to first introduce fandrum to the ecosystem that we belong to and then go out and out in the market and uh, celebrate them the idea is to go global beyond any geographical or language uh, barriers cater to every kind of person every kind of fan that exists around content and other spaces and that's right. where we want to be all right we have two minutes uh, one is uh, we are all fans in some way or the other right uh, so. if we have to join fan drum what do how do we benefit individually and what do you have to say about uh, to people who are here who are fans of some show some celebrity uh, would you like to say something all to them all i have to say is join fan drum And, and what do they get what it? do they get exactly 
So you get rewarded for being a fan. You already are fans of something, you yourself said, right? So if you're a fan of something, you have fundamental needs of engaging. See, when we watch content, we are in a relationship, right? If I spend 10 seasons watching a particular show, I get involved with the, I get involved with the character, I get involved with the plot. I, those are my highs, those are my highs, those are my lows. You know, and when you are in a relationship, you want to talk about it to the friends, the good parts and the bad parts. So here on Frantrum, we give you those friends who are like your like-minded community. I may be married, but me and my husband absolutely share zero content choices, right? He goes, if he, I go south, he goes north. So if I have to talk about the content that I have to talk about, I go on the online communities and talk about my content. I get validation, I don't get mocked. I can like any kind of content and be celebrated for watching that content. Great. Uh, what is the uh, size of the market, by the way, for the fan economy? Give some numbers, some journalists sitting here, they, they have sent me this question. The size of fan economy, everybody who watches content is the size of fan economy. So I don't know the specific number, but all I can say is 700 million only in India are people who watch television, right? And I'm not even talking about sports or uh, films or in that matter. So 700 million people watch television on a daily basis. 42% of those people watch GC on a daily basis. So imagine if you can cater to those people and fandom become the real second screen and a real friend to them. That's, that's what the size of market would be. I have time for one question, anyone? All right, okay, okay, there's a question. Uh, okay, yes. How do we join? It's available on Android and iOS both. Awesome, so I'll be the first to join. I've already I'll started. I'll be very, very happy. <laughs> uh, Dr. Batra has a question. What is, what, you know, I know it, but I'm doing it for more, more for the audience. What is the advantage to the fans what is the advantage to the creators and what is the advantage to the platforms as in media? Can you give those, uh, you know, very specific uh, advantages to all the stakeholders? <coughs> Sir, right now, out and out, it's a platform for fans. They don't have any specific platforms where they can go and engage in, first of all, a platform which goes out and say, yes, we are here to celebrate you. We want it to be a very democratic platform, right? Here, everybody who becomes a fan gets an experiential reward. Imagine I can send a fan to watch its favorite show, make a fan watch, uh, walk down the red carpet. So we are democratizing the whole value proposition for a fan. People who have connects in the industry or people who have money just don't get access to all these, right? People who actually stand outside their favorite celebrities' houses, watch films in and out. So here is a platform for fan. The biggest thing is, the biggest thing for fan is that a fan gets a validation on the platform. For the broadcasters and the content producers, they get to know the audience better. They get to know who this 20% of fan are. They start building loyalty to those fans, you know. Media and entertainment is probably the only industry which does not have a loyalty program. So here through Fandrum, we want to build in the loyalty program for those fans and the, for, for the broadcasters. Loyalty brings in more revenue uh, to broadcasters. What was your third point, sir? You know, to the creators, because you're, you're in the creator economy. Sir, right now, I, as I mentioned, right, everybody's create, for a film a content producer is making, but the virality and the sustainability of that content is purely and purely and out and out done by fans. These fans are creating content and creating everything around the content on various platforms without any validation or without any revenue for that matter. Here, they get to earn those points, they get to earn their revenue. We share our revenues with them, whatever we earn. And here, the creators become those real creators. It's no more about that 5% or one top 1% deciding the entire content ecosystem, right? We want fans to become the participants in the content production that is happening. So yes, they get they become active participants rather than just being followers. Uh, Sabadi, I should add that, you know, you have taken fans beyond just likes and shares and some real value for them. And being a fan can be celebrated, right? I mean. It will be it will be something that can be monetized. It will not now, be right? celebrated. It will be. Celebrated. It will be celebrated the other way around as well. They used to celebrate for free, yeah. like and share, but it's going to be the other way around and give them more value. Thanks for doing this and bringing in this, uh, you know, new disruptive platform. Thank you so much for Thank joining. Thank you so us. much. Thank you, Naraksha. Thank you so much.